Okay, so I'm going to talk about the Chapman Kolmogorov equations, which aren't as complicated as they seem. So you already know the one step transition probabilities. And this is the probability of going from state i to state j, given that you move one step forward. So basically, probability, um, if you're at state step j i right now, um, the probability of the next step being state j. So anyways, we know that the summation across every single possible next j for any given i is equal to 1. So if you sum every possible j that you could go to, given a single i, you will get 1 as a summation because this is every possible way that you could end up going. Well, anyways, for the chapman kolmogorov equations, the problem that we're trying to solve is that we want to get from uh, probability, the probability for going to state i to state j in n steps instead of just one step. So basically, it's represented by the probability of, in n steps, you're being at state j, given that your current step is at state i. And this looks like you are starting at state i um, at time k. Then you go at some intermediate time u um, to a state. And then uh, after, at time k plus n, which is higher than the intermediate and higher than k, um, you end up at state j. So basically, using the law of uh, total probability, you can sum across all of the intermediates the probability of being at that intermediate um, and multiply that by the probability of uh, getting to j, given that you are at the current intermediate where you are, which is r, little r. And um, the sum of all of this will end up being the probability of going from k to k plus n. So um, this is possible because Barkov chains are memoryless. So basically, they don't remember the last uh, anything past the current state, and each state is independent of each other. So you can use this um, to form the chapman kolmogorov equation, which is essentially the summation across every single possible intermediate r going uh, the probability of going from state i to r um, and then the prob times the probability of going from state r to j across every possible r and that'll give you the probability of going from state i to j in n steps.